morning and welcome back once again to WKNI TV 25. We have the honor to have the fine mayor. <laughs> <laughs> we got a long history, don't we? Golly. Man, I, can, I remember the first time I met you. Do you remember that? It has no, to I stick don't. hard I've in your mind. No, I don't. I've tried to forget the first time. <laughs> no, I, I don't recall exactly the I, I do. situation. Yeah. yeah. You used to sing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not karaoke either, folks, I'm telling you. Anyway, yeah. Mayor Rock. Some wouldn't call it singing, by the way. <laughs> what did I call it? Well, I mean, you called it singing. Others would not necessarily refer to what I do as singing. Karaoke? Well. <laughs> it's not karaoke. Yeah. But anyway, Mayor Robert Williamson uh, from the city of Florida, thank you for coming. Go ahead and take No, a thank you for having me. Oh, well, appreciate you. Lots of, you know, we may never always agree on things. That's mm -hmm. been a... a thing with us but we at least be able to talk it out mm -hmm. and, and you know you throw things at me I throw things at you and, and but the neat thing is is you're a very forward-thinking person and and you're um, uh, you've got the sincerity of the city on your heart mm -hmm. I mean I, I I gave you a hard time for the first round that you were in there but uh, in in overlooking everything and going back and seeing how you've done things your your heart has really been concerned with that community and then I, I applaud you for that because a lot of folks are up there for themselves and, and that's not the case with you. Well I appreciate that. I mean uh, I've been blessed by having a very good council that works well together uh, but certainly the goal is transparency and doing things right and, well, and often unfortunately in the world of politics right isn't necessarily a primary concern. And it's not always the most favored <clears throat> item as well. And uh, you certainly uh, have stepped up to the plate on that. You do have a great uh, council up there. You got Miss Hazel Lee, one mm -hmm. of my favorites, uh, in there this round, and, and uh, uh, very controversial individual. I mean, she's on Facebook, buddy. Let me tell you what. Uh, you think she's running for office nationally, <laughs> but uh, she's she's very outspoken and very educated. This woman, I mean, um, I don't know what degree she has or where she got her education from, but she's very, very smart. Oh, very, very smart. She's a chemist. Uh, I so, know so a retired chemist, so she is extremely uh, book smart. But she's not only book smart, she is a common sense thinker. Mm -hmm. She's not emotionally driven. She's logic driven. I have a tremendous amount of respect for Hazel, who, by the way, is our mayor pro tem. There you um, go. That we, we couldn't have gotten a better. I don't know that we she probably should be mayor. She she is an excellent, excellent. <laughs> you never heard member. that here before. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, honestly, you know, she is, a, and I've I've begged her to run for years to for something over in, in Florella or even the county. Uh, you know, I'd love to steal her from mm -hmm. you and put her on the county no, commission. No, we we want to keep her. No, no, no. But uh, very, as you say, very intelligent, and I love talking with her because she talks on a very good level. Anyway. With that in mind, what you've got going on over there, new businesses coming, mm -hmm. uh, new, well, the, uh, uh, what is it, the Country Corner uh, Cafe? Or Country Folks. Country Folks Cafe <laughs> reopened again. Right. Uh, new owners, new management, and I've been eating up there several times since they've opened. Man, let me tell you, it, it's on the top of the list for good food. Timmy Strickland, one of the owners, and Timmy is just a... Um, I don't know if perfection driven is the word, but I say that's a pretty good way to, to describe Timmy. He's going to do it right. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, country folks open. They've got now the Tuesday uh, seafood buffet again. Um, just a great crab place legs, to eat. Friday and Saturday. Big crabs, too. Yeah. Oh, we're not, talking. Not just little crabs. Yeah. Not hermits. No, these are the big, what do they call them? Halves or quarters? Or what, they're halves. You get the big halves. In, uh, I've had them a few times mm -hmm. off my diet. But. Yeah. Occasionally. Occasionally. Yeah. Well, Soraball's there too, as well, by the way, which is a Destin chef. Okay. That, uh, they own Soraball's, and um, he's a fairly renowned Destin chef and cooks there at Soraball's, which is on the main drag going through town. Um, excellent, excellent food. Chicken fried rice, you will not get better chicken fried rice than right there. I mean, I, I will put it up against anybody anywhere. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of great places to eat beans. You've got, uh, of course, the Huddle House. You've got Sarah's Big R. Um, a lot of places that uh, you need to check out. Uh, and there's no reason in the world not to go down there. Not only do you have the food, you've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks in between, but you've got some great shopping opportunities down there as well. 
Well, we do. I mean, there's some unique shops that are uh, along the main street. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I encourage people in Florella to shop locally because often when you go outside of town, it's because you think you can't find it in town. A lot of the things, we don't have everything, obviously, but uh, a lot of the items that you might shop for out of town if you're from Florella are right there in town. Uh, so if Florella residents are listening, don't go anywhere else. And if uh, you're an out-of-towner, come to Florella. Well, um, you've got a grocery store. Okay, you've got a pharmacy, mm -hmm. um, you've got a hardware store, you've got all, uh -huh. everything that I can think of. Yeah, and a hardware store too, by the way, that's certainly got some history with it. That building uh, comes from, I believe, the late 1800s late, or early 1900s, uh, and I think it's been a hardware store for the duration of its time there downtown. So there's, I mean, there's some history too, some kind of, uh, you get a unique feel when you walk into some of those old stores, kind of like it used to be years and years ago. I know I enjoy, we, Teresa and I go down there every couple of weeks on the weekend and, and uh, just love walking through the mm -hmm. shops. I mean, there's a lot of history there as you walk across those new sidewalks, too. That That's right. Down there. Brand new sidewalks. Brand new. New leather on the bottom of the shoes getting across those things. And, and uh, But uh, you got a lot of things coming up. But you've been there now, what, five years, I guess, as going working on, on the fifth. Yeah. yeah, as mayor. Let's go back over the past five years. What are some of the best accomplishments that you've seen in the city of Florella? Uh, you know, there have been millions of dollars worth of uh, improvements, and that's compliments of some people that we work with, uh, CDG Engineering, at uh, Scott Farmer, who is with the South Alabama Regional Planning Development Commission over in Dothan, uh, the representatives, Seth Hammond, and now Mike Jones, Jimmy Holly. Uh, there has been a tremendous amount of money flow into the community which we didn't think and many people said well you can't get it i mean if you can get one grant you're not going to be able to get the other we've been blessed to get multiple grants and as a result have been able to make uh, a lot of improvements to the infrastructure uh, and and then two you know we did have going in some divisiveness between the uh, council and the um, water board we've been resolving those issues and as a result we were able to get some underneath the road projects completed which led to some resurfacing as well so uh, I would say I really have never sat down and put a pin to how much uh, work has been done in the last four or five years, but it's it's got to be over four or five million dollars worth of work. What's the greatest accomplishment you think over the past four years? What greatest accomplishment? Uh, first of all, let me say that it is a, a group and team effort. Uh, it is the entire council working together that uh, creates any successes that we have. I, I, I really think that may be one of the greatest accomplishments is that you, I think, have some unity in the council. And when you've got unity on the council, then you can begin to achieve some of those projects and successes that you're looking for. Well, I know in the past um, it, it, it was almost an entertainment part <coughs> for us to go down to the council meetings, and not since you've been mayor in the present council, but before that, in uh, People used to call me up on the phone and send me emails and go, well, are you going to have the Gantt Florella, you know, <laughs> show on this weekend? Right. Um, and, and, but since uh, you have been in office over there, and obviously Mayor Grissett over in, in Gantt, there's been some serious changes in the direction of the communities uh, for the better. One of the things that you are, are known for here at WKNI and, oh, and uh, in the media as well is back during the most uh, controversial issue that this state has seen uh, in in years um, was the gambling issue mm -hmm. and uh, right in the midst of, of country crossings and Ronnie Gilly and and all this stuff with Tyson and, and Mayor Riley and in uh, Riley whatever Riley um, going on uh, you made a stand which I argued with you on I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, you know but today I'll tell you I, I agree with you on it mm -hmm. uh, change of thought change of things going on but uh, you boldly stood up and said I want to have a casino, and you went out and started soliciting to, or you know, looking into getting mm -hmm. somebody to build one there. Um, how do you stand on that today? Well, let, let me say to with uh, kind of variate the statement as far as wanted a casino. We felt like at the time the variables that were in place suggested that it was coming whether we wanted it or not. Gotcha. So we wanted to be able to appropriately regulate it and make it beneficial to the city. Now, obviously, there have been changes that have occurred since and, and I don't think the climate is is friendly now for that kind of uh, <laughs> uh, establishment but at the moment we felt like it was probably a given and we wanted to be able to regulate it in some form or fashion 
Um, so, uh, and we did want to benefit from it, obviously. I mean, we felt like it was something to be beneficial to the community. So um, that was why we took the stand then. Now I don't think the climate currently is conducive to having such an establishment. I do wish the state legislature would allow the citizens of Alabama to give a straight up and down vote on the issue. And I mean a straight up and down, not with uh, contingencies attached. And if they vote yay, let's do it. If they don't, they say no, then forget it. Move on. I'm with you there. And, and I will say that uh, when I found out the actual cause and effect behind what you and, and your council was going for, um, I applaud you for that. Right. And, and uh, I, I just... You know, being the cynical me at times, I <laughs> <laughs> cynical you, cynical me, not but, Eddie, uh, not Eddie, no. no. But <laughs> stop it now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, um, you know, I, you were looking at five to six hundred jobs. You were looking at millions of dollars of revenue coming mm -hmm. into the city, um, traffic flow, and, and the whole nine yards coming mm -hmm. in. So, um, you know, that that obviously um, is is forward thinking and. You know, it wasn't maybe the the most popular thing at the time, mm -hmm. but at least you're willing to stand up and say, hey, I'm looking out for my city. If we can be a part of this, I, I want a part of it so we can do what we need to do and, and regulate it properly. Right. And, and um, key word is regulate it properly. You can have a lot of things that are legal as long as you regulate it and enforce it properly. Right. And uh, speaking of enforcement, we're going to go to a commercial break because those kind of enforce us, as you know. Yes. And uh, that's Billy Skype coming. He's had an opportunity, as most of our guests do, to uh, see Billy over in Afghanistan this morning. Uh, but uh, anyway, we've got to take that commercial break, and uh, we'll be back with more with Mayor. Uh, I almost called you Earl. <laughs> Earl's done a good job of that Well, you know, forward thinking. Both of you are. And, uh uh, Robert Williamson from the city of Florella, and uh, lots going on down there. We're going to be talking about when we come back. Uh, uh, one of the biggest times of the year is uh, coming up this week, and uh, lots of traffic, lots of people coming through that city. Mm -hmm. Spring break, right? So we'll be talking about that and how that affects the city of Florella okay. and the county as well. God bless you. Uh, your job over here, by the way, if you didn't catch, was to take Teresa's place. All our gifts do it, and you get to say, "Keep it real." Keep it real. Keep God in it. We'll be back with more right after this. God bless you. We love you.